story begins, they'll say, in the fall of 23, when the inmates in the prison camp broke free, attacking military targets, 400 soldiers dead. If you listen to survivors, so many of them said most others who were killed died during the fight as the army came in, destroying everything in sight, smashing down the buildings upon fighters, upon kids. All the evidence suggests that's exactly what they did. Then the Air Force took no time at all to bomb hospitals and churches and to make the towers fall. The Western media just repeats the lies while every minute or so another child dies buried beneath the rubble of homes and schools and playgrounds crushed just seconds after hearing the deafening sounds of bombs exploding everywhere underneath the rocks fly around the world. People shouting, stop the genocide. At least 10,000 killed in just the first four weeks. They killed 5,000 children that bomb the men they seek. But what happened to the point will pale and compare with the gravity of what I am about to share. With more than a million children, it seems impossible to think. The idea wants no one to have anything to drink. They're bombing water tanks there beside the ocean sign. Around the world, people shouting, stop the genocide. They walled off the ghetto about 20 years before, sealed it off on all sides to throttle off the flow of what might go in or out, like things to drink or eat, medicine or people or necessities to meet, the needs of two million trapped beneath the bombs, beneath the chemical weapons, burning skin like napalm, beneath the bunker busters the U.S. has provided, around the world people shouting stop the genocide, the world watches on in outreach and in fear as the latest war to end all wars is here. Like the most deadly game of chess, the U.S. Navy in the harbor, as if to dare anyone to try to stop the slaughter. As a fact on the ground, and dire by the second, if we look into the future, how might this be reckoned? We can ask each other in the streets, marching side by side, around the world, people shouting, stop the genocide. All of those who wondered, what would they have done? The last time there was such a holocaust as this one, are faced with the dilemma that's burning at the seams. How to stop the madness of this Israeli regime? How to stop the killing before everybody dies? While there aren't any parents left to hear the cries of their children in the rubble just before they died. Around the world, people shouting, stop the genocide.